Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Monday, July 27th, 2020. It's hard to believe we're almost through this month and we're heading into August. And this week we have just a tremendous number of news reports that the market is going to have to deal with. This morning we are setting up bullish and last week we just had that little bit of selling off, adding some confusion to the market. So how about we just settle in, buckle up, and let's go through the technicals here, see if we can figure out what all this means for today on the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have kind of an interesting situation in development here in the market. First off, um, we had Asia markets last night pretty much flat to lower. Um, we have European markets very flat, mixed and mostly lower this morning. But here in the U.S., everything is bullish this morning. We have across the board bullishness in all of the futures markets with a great big press to the upside. So one of the first things that's fueling up the market this morning is we have the potential of a big stimulus bill coming from the federal government. The um, the numbers are showing, uh, or at least the news reports are telling us, about a trillion dollars, um, what twelve hundred dollar checks for citizens, and um, a reduced um, unemployment bonus. Um, or benefit, I guess, um, in that extension that they are planning to do. So kind of some back and forth here in the market on that. But right now we're fueled up on this big, big um, um, government stimulus plan that seems to be pushing the markets higher right now. Right now, the market just loves, it, it, we don't care about debt anymore. The market loves whenever... Uh, whenever we print money. And so we're pushing higher on that this morning, but at the same time, we have a lot of other news to deal with here in the market. We have a, um, a huge week of earnings reports that include several of the big techs that could move us around. We have an FOMC announcement on Wednesday that certainly can have major market ramifications. We obviously have the rising tensions between the US and China, and we have pandemic that continues to uh, raise all kinds of concerns and worry about economic impacts and rising unemployment. So what does that mean? Well, we've got an interesting dilemma here in these charts. First off, last week we saw a little bit of trouble. We, we ran into some of these price resistance levels that I've been talking about. We kind of struggled along here, slamming into that downtrend resistance here on the chart. Yet at the same time, we held up overall in trend. We put in kind of a double top pattern here at the price resistance of that island reversal that was that was created in early June. Yet at the same time, we did not break down through some support levels or trend in the chart. So could you could you have um, a market really doing any more of sitting on the fence than that. We're, we're kind of stuck in the middle here um, with a little bit of confusion in this chart. On the moving average front, we're still holding up very positively. As you can see, we're still holding above the 200-day moving average. We still have a rising 50-day moving average that could soon cross up through the 500 and even the 200 if we can remain bullish. So right now, um, kind of a contradiction. We have some technical patterns leaving some confusion. We have a big giant wedge pattern that basically says we have the potential of going either direction. And yet at the same time, we have a short term uptrend uh, trying to hold us on that bullish side and futures that are trying to pump us up this morning with a gap up open that you can see moving up here to challenge the underneath side of this resistance of this 
price action right in here. So kind of an interesting market morning setup here and kind of challenging as to knowing knowing what we, we should do. We can probably expect some incredible price volatility this week and we're going to have to stay very focused and flexible on price action. The trader that overcommits in one direction could get really hurt this week with the possibility of big uh, morning gaps, um, intraday reversals as we react to all of this news. Um, some pretty interesting price action could occur here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also holding up in this upside trend. Notice that we've moved up here. Whoops, got to fix my tools here. Um, moving up in this trend and it's done much better than the Dow. As you can see, we broke through that island reversal that we had right in here. We broke through that pushed up above and then on Friday we kind of failed to hold that as um, the top side of that anyway as price support drifting back down into that next layer of support. We're struggling around here just a little bit. We don't have the same situation of that downtrend in here. As you can see, we broke that downtrend. We could possibly find this level as a place of support to hold that up and um, an upside trend that continues to hold. So pretty interesting charts here to deal with. Um, in the market with just some confusion. Now, if we take a look at the NASDAQ, there really is not much confusion here on trend. The trend is just um, unbelievably bullish. And um, we have big tech reports this week that could continue that, or we could see that little bit of selling coming in if they happen to disappoint or unable to really support some of these current prices in those tech sectors but we also have this little dilemma up here we have that big bearish engulfing candle and that potential of that double top high forming in that chart so we do have that little contradiction here as well we're holding trend and that possibility that we could be running into a little bit of price resistance in the chart however we're still holding price support levels so just that back and forth and a little bit of uncertainty showing itself here in the market if we take a look at IWM IWM held up last week much better than I would have expected um, it, it's really been under loved by the market for a long long time but notice that last week it really didn't suffer any at all in, uh, where we suffered in kind of the Dow. We suffered um, a little bit of pullbacks in the NASDAQ and the SPY. Notice that we just consolidated here on IWM. So IWM is trying to hold up here, maybe a function of um, energy and financials trying to perk up just a little bit, but kind of keep an eye on that IWM. Small caps may be coming around here and starting to show a little bit of extra strength. If we take a look at the VIX, the VIX is another dilemma for us to deal with. Um, while we have been trying to pretend that nothing is going on with coronavirus, that we can ignore it, we still struggle here in um, our fear. We do have contradiction here as well. We have contradiction of a downtrend holding up and yet we have the hold of a price support here in uh, the VIX. So we have that little concern, that possibility of that fear spike that could come in at any time perking this up. And I've mentioned before that it seems kind of odd to be talking about the possibility of complacency in the market when we're up here around 25 handles in the market. But honestly, the, the ravenous bullishness, the, the relentless bullishness that we've seen kind of smacks of some complacency here in the market. So we're gonna, going to want to stay pretty focused on this and flexible. Uh, that means that any time we get that fear spike, we could really see the market sell and sell off quickly. 
if we get it. If we don't, if we see those bulls continue to hold on and fear continues to drop out of this market, then we could see a good strong rally because there may have been enough people getting short um, last week to create a short squeeze. So let's just stay on our toes here in the market. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And last week we pulled back finally on Friday we pulled back from those highs up here in the chart this morning we're gapping up my guess is we're going to be gapping um, back up and moving back up toward this bearish reversal zone in the market could we pop all the way back up in here yeah it's certainly possible uh, the way the market is reacting we could be right back up here this morning in that uh, bearish reversal zone but right now we just have an unwillingness of the market to sell off even though there are several clues out there that we could be overextended so watch that closely um, anything is possible I think we're just going to have to stay very very flexible in this market if we take a look at um, our um, economic calendar we have a big week on our economic calendar this week we're gonna have to stay a little bit more focused on that calendar than we did last week um, in this chart as you can see we've got durable goods orders coming out this morning at 8 30 we've got consumer confidence we've got the FOMC here on Wednesday the announcement we've got a big GDP number that consensus is suggesting an ugly ugly move we have the potential for rising jobless claims this week and we have um, personal incomes and outlays as some of those big um, economic reports that could move us around so we're gonna have to stay pretty sharp on those economic reports as well as we progress through the week so keep that in mind on the earnings front we just have a huge number of earnings um, this week we're going to hear from we're going to hear from microsoft we're going to hear from um excuse me apple we're going to hear from google we're going to hear from facebook we're going to hear from Amazon this week. Um, pretty big tech news um, this week that we're going to have to grapple with. And there's been some concern that some of these stocks may be priced to perfection. Can they, can they hold up um, under the current circumstances here in the market? And it's still yet to be seen. So. Um, certainly some confusion in the price action here and now we're going to have to deal with those actual events um, as we move forward we're also going to have to just really stay on our toes there's going to be an awful lot of news as the rhetoric comes out of Washington DC on the um, new stimulus plan moving along so just a lot to deal with this week um, as we move or progress through so expect considerable price volatility may be pretty challenging um, as we move forward um, this week let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up but guys I want to I want to remind everyone that um, the stocks that I'm going to show in this video are not recommendations to buy or sell any security they they could change an awful lot this week as the market continues to react to all of the news that's going to hit us this week so just kind of keep that in mind any of the stocks that i show you are going to be kind of an interesting uh, dilemma uh, for us to trade now i'm going to be showing you patterns and a lot of these patterns are holding in consolidations what we've seen an awful lot of and you may have experienced this good potential trade setups but a failure for the stock to move they just kind of lack that momentum to get moving um, we're seeing that in a lot of places but we have good bullish trends and stocks setting up like restoration hardware where you can see I have an alert here on this chart watching and waiting for that potential trade to uh, pop on out it's looking pretty good overall we have um, 
con, uh, defensive sector um, stocks like KHC. Now, KHC will be reporting this week, as you can see, um, holding in a nice consolidation move. Good potential upside on this trade. I've alerted on that. We've got Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box holding up and poking through that alert on Friday. We do have some resistance above to deal with, but keep a, keep an eye on that. We have uh, Johnson & Johnson that although it sold off on Friday, still holding on to that trend and trying to hold around that price support level. This morning's bounce back up could prove to hold in this area and try to bring that right back. So keep an eye on that. We have John Deere setting up in a very tight consolidation. And remember, we have Caterpillar reporting this week. So um, lots of price movement potential um, could occur here. John Deere could be affected by that. We're seeing stocks like WDC that fired up one day, completely reversed the next. And we're likely to see a lot of that this week. Um, a lot of price volatility where everything just kind of reverses itself and um, could be a challenge to deal with. Take a look at stocks like McDonald's holding up very strong in its trend. And I've placed an alert on here and you can see we popped that alert last week, moving up in here and pushing up into some price resistance in the chart. So some a little bit of price confusion there maybe to deal with. Um, you move that along, we've got Clorox holding up very, very well in this chart, but it is going to report this week on Friday. So we have um, that going on. This has been a very, very strong company in um, the Corona, due to the Corona situation, holding up strong and uh, doing quite well. Then we bring in some contradiction, guys. We bring in some contradiction like consumer staples, H XLP. Consumer staples have been on a run. Now, this kind of flies in the face of all of the this rush into tech. Um, where we're seeing a move and a possible rotation into more conservative plays or those stocks that have good dividend yield. So we're seeing that move up. We're also seeing rise in utilities. Now utilities pushing up always concerns me when we see that happening with the rest of the market. And as you can see, we're pushing up into some resistance levels, but utilities holding up quite strong and with those consumer staples holding up strong, there seems to be a little bit of a contradiction here in this market. We also have um, gold. Now, I I'm biased on gold, guys, because I hold this position and look at this massive gap that we're getting this morning. Gold surging huge as we continue to print money at um, an unbelievable pace around the world, um, devaluing currencies. So gold looking very good this morning. We can probably say the same about silver leaping higher this morning um, in the market as those precious metals rise even in the light of a rising market, adding some confusion. So guys, I want to just echo out there to be very, very careful in this market. We're going to have to stay focused. We're going to have to stay very flexible. If you're an inexperienced trader, it may be wise to just do some sitting on your hands and protecting your capital this week rather than uh, rushing into this. This could be a very, very challenging market this week with some wild price action, lots of price volatility, the potential of gap up opens and then sell offs, so the potential for gap down opens and then rallies, the potential for intraday whipsaws and overall reversals, overnight reversals are very, very high this week. So be very, very careful. Plan your risk carefully. And remember, every day is going to be a new day that could shift or reverse with so much news 
coming out. So going to have to stay on your toes, going to have to stay really focused this week in your trading. So with that, everyone, hey, if you guys could do me a favor, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. I know today's video is probably one of those, that, geez, I just wish he would give me some good news and I wish I could, but we have just have this, this cloud hanging over the market right Right now so be very very careful be very very cautious I know me um, I'm gonna be um, heavily into protection mode I'm gonna be watching carefully doing a lot of hedging um, that kind of thing because honestly anything is possible this week anything is possible we're really gonna have to have our a game on if we approach um, when we approach this market this week all right guys have a great day I want to wish you all of the best have a great um, uh, I, I wish you all great profits and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning take care everyone.